Peter Peeps, how you doing? Fina Chu. I'm doing great. I'm out here waiting for shorted owls and today, absolutely nothing. So I was getting a little stir crazy, but really I've been out in this location probably about a little over 30 times and I had three wonderful days. In those days I probably had maybe 20 minutes of footage each day and it was great because the owl came super close to where I was standing. So that's what today's video is, short eared owls. Come with me, let's go have some fun. I was anxiously awaiting the arrival of the short eared owls this season. They are just magnificent to watch gliding through the air. I was told that these owls are coming from Ontario, Canada. And on a day in late November, I spotted my first short-eared owl. That day, I was only seeing northern harriers, and it was getting dark, so I was not expecting much. I was speaking to my friend Ed when he said, Look, it looks like an owl. And I looked through the camera, and it was. It wasn't the best footage, but it was exciting to see our first of the year. A few minutes later, the ranger came over, who was also excited, because he said, that's the first he's seen this year also. This year was especially fun for me. I got to meet many fine people who shared great stories with me. I tried different spots along the trail to test different backgrounds and lighting to see what looked good. This day was super cloudy and not many people showed up and the owls came right up to the parking lot. That would be nice if the car was not in the background. Hey wait, that's my car. But sometimes there are exceptions where the owls come close to the people. This guy buzzes right by the crowded platform filled with photographers. Flying by, the shorty looks back and says, I hope you got your pictures. I'm out of here. Here, you see the grass owl looking around the grassland for some food. They will fly low and keep their eyes peeled on the ground, then dive down when they see something that's appetizing. Here, a vole is captured, and this shorty takes off quickly so his buddies don't see him with his catch. There are some days where there are some skirmishes. It looks like they're fighting, and sometimes, but rarely, I have seen them actually tangle and twirl. Luckily, I've never seen where anyone was really injured.
I had a great amount of fun filming here. But on a serious note, this year there were only six or seven short air owls in this location. Four years ago, when I first began coming to this location, there were 18 reported. Each year, it seems it has been a declining trend. I hope this decline is because they are staying back in their breeding location and not because they are reducing due to habitat loss or other factors. I really hope that the next generation of birders and photographers get to see this majestic owl. So that was my last three months waiting for short air owls and I'll be waiting for next year. So I hope you had fun. I had a great time. I'll see you next time on Peanut Tree Adventures.